Time can often be the enemy of murder investigations. Leads go cold and a case can remain unsolved, sometimes for decades. But in some cases, time is what is needed for technology to advance, to bring about new leads. Technological advances in forensic science could help answer who brutally murdered two people in Clay County 12 years ago. Here's Katie Jeffries with tonight's Unsolved. Old newspaper articles say neighbors remembered the silence that night because it was unusual for the Middleburg home, which was normally bustling with people. But when the roommate of Chelsea Roan and Matt Broombach came home, he found a grisly scene in what investigators describe as not only a double murder, but an execution. It is one of only four unsolved homicide cases at the Clay County Sheriff's Office, but it was a cold and brutal crime. It was April 24th, 2007. Chelsea Roan was just 16 years old. Matt Brumbau was only 21. They and one other roommate lived at this home at 1723 Jean Court in Middleburg. Sometime between midnight and 2.30 in the morning, their lives ended. Someone was either inside their home waiting on them or got to the home when they were there, uh, went in and shot both of them. Both were shot in the head at close range. Chelsea found near the door, Matt by an open safe. Detective Rom Schoonover with the Clay County Sheriff's Office is reinvestigating this case. He says there were drugs being sold from the home at the time. It wasn't a secret to the people that were living out there. Uh, Chelsea was 16, but she had previously married. And prior to several weeks leading up to this, they had split up and Matt Brumbaugh was a friend of both of them. So uh, he took her in to live with him. He emphasizes that the two were not romantically involved. The terrible scene was discovered by the roommate, but he didn't call police right away. He went back out across the street, got a friend of his, and they both went back to the scene before calling 911 and started to clean up some of the uh, evidence. Because it was a known drug house, they were trying to protect um, their friend's image. So from the beginning, that posed a problem. Crucial evidence had been moved or cleaned. Investigators ruled out a murder-suicide, but the main question of motive remained. Was this a drug deal gone bad, or was it personal? Matt Brumbaugh's obituary says he was a soft-spoken and loving young man. Chelsea's friends described her to the Times Union as sweet and kind, two young people that had their whole lives ahead of them. They were involved in illegal activity, selling drugs, but did they need to be, um, deserve to be executed the way they were? No. Detective Schoonover hopes that new technology could bring their killer to justice. It's called vacuum metal deposition. It's a powerful fingerprint detection method that can be used on evidence that's up to two decades old. And they have the shell casings and evidence from the scene that can be tested. But Detective Schoonover does believe that there are those who know more than what they told investigators in 2007. And after nearly 12 years, now could be the time to get that off their conscience. You know, you might have remembered something back then and didn't want to get involved. But now as, you know, maybe you matured and got older and uh, this has been with someone for that long and they just want to get it off their chest. And justice can finally be served for the brutal execution of Matt Brumbaugh and Chelsea Roan. Investigators are hopeful that testing evidence with new technology could bring in more leads. But if you know anything that could help solve this double murder, please call the Clay County Sheriff's Office. Katie Jeffries with photographer Jeff Renfro for First Coast News on your side.